What's up everyone, welcome to your 14th After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be going over um, a couple rotation things and we're going to be using a tool called the Wiggler in this tutorial. So uh, let's just uh, go ahead and get started. The first thing that I want to show you guys is how we used to make things rotate along a path before and how they do it by default. So let's go ahead and uh, get your object, it doesn't matter what it, what, what it is and get your position um, effect out and go ahead and make three well actually you don't have to make anything I'll just show you how it's done just uh, make three keyframes and I'll show you that by default After Effects has this object kind of the same level left and right when it moves along a path but sometimes you don't want to do this and you want the object to kind of follow the path like it's kind of going like a roller coaster and here's how you do that anytime you want your object to follow one or more keyframes and this is called auto orientation go ahead and select the keyframes you you want and again if you click the property it selects all the keyframes next thing from there you want to go to layer up here transform auto orient and you want to put orient along path go ahead and click OK and as you can see when you do that your object is oriented along the path which it uh, um, aligns with or whatever it's called so that is how you get an object to uh, go along the path so if you're animating something like a roller coaster or something like that it's a lot easier and make sure when you're done with that go to layer where is it transform auto orient and click off or else it's gonna stick with you and it's gonna be annoying when you're trying to orient other stuff another thing that I want to show you guys how to do is something called the wiggler and what this does is it um, pretty much just wiggles your objects pretty simple so to open this you need to go to window and make sure your um, uh, what's it called panel called the wiggler is open Make sure there's a checkbox next to it. Mine's already open right here, so I don't have to worry about anything. What the Wiggler does is adds a bunch of random keyframes so th in the middle of whatever keyframes you selected so that it gives it a wiggle effect. And you can do this to any property, not only position, but position is most easy to see. So go ahead and select uh, two or more keyframes since you can't wiggle only one keyframe. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, actually I'm going to delete this middle one. And uh, right now you see Charlie Chupacabra is just going from left and right. I'm going to want to add a bunch of random keyframes to make them shake all over like a crackhead or something. So go ahead and um, select your keyframes. Oops, I accidentally deleted one. So select all your keyframes and go over to the wiggler and here is what you need to select you want to pick apply to spatial path now spatial and temporal are actually two different things spatial means in space and temporal means in time and since position is of course space temporal would be something like opacity where it isn't like moving anywhere it's just doing something over time getting brighter or getting uh, dimmer so that's a uh, that's what temporal would mean but position you always want spatial noise type this uh, doesn't really matter um, in this case it's just um when you look at your chart um, the lines are either going to be jagged or smooth it's not really important don't worry about that and dimensions again since this is spatial these are the axes uh, x-axis y-axis do you want to uh, do all the same most of the time you want to click all independently since you want all your keyframes to act independently the frequency is how often it's going to insert keyframes and magnitude is how um, severe I guess you could say the um, differences is going to be so let's just go ahead and say we want about um, 11 keyframes per second and we want it uh, pretty harsh just so I can show you guys so now when I hit apply you see that the wiggler added all these random keyframes in our animation now if we see Charlie and we play his animation he's gonna wiggle all over the place again 
Um, if we want to only add a couple and not make it, this would probably be better. And this is with a frequency of 4 per second and a magnitude of 18. As you can see, Charlie only wiggles a little bit. So that's how you can get objects to wiggle in and out. And a lot of people don't know this, but and even if they've been working with After Effects for a while, but you can actually wiggle other stuff besides position. Now I know whenever you think of wiggle in your head, you think of like an object wiggling, but you can actually wiggle stuff like opacity and things like that too. Uh, for instance, let me go ahead and get rid of our uh, other wiggle keyframes on position. If you go to opacity, uh, just make two quick keyframes. And um, let's say, let's put them at 50% each. Put this at 50 and put that one at 50. You can actually select both of these and wiggle these just like you would anything else. And what this happens, what this does, is it doesn't really make your object wiggle like up and down. When you wiggle opacity, it's going to make it flicker on and off like a light bulb burning out or something. So let's go to home, apply it, and as you can see, it added a bunch of wiggle keyframes to our thing. Now press space, and uh, I don't know if you can see it on YouTube, but uh, if you do this, you can see that Charlie's, uh, he's like flickering on and off. So let me play it one more time for you. And if, uh, if, it, if it isn't good and you can't see it, I'll prove it to you right here. You can always look on the graph right here and see your wiggles um, in a graphic kind of way. So this is the opacity right here. As you can see, it's kind of shooting up and down all over the place. So um, anytime that you want to randomize it even more, you can go to your uh, graph right here and you can manually adjust it. But um, most of the time, you just want to stick with the basics because this wiggler gives you enough control where you can customize it how you want it. So, again, that is how you use the wiggler in auto orientation to orient objects along the path. And don't forget that you can wiggle stuff besides position. Any of your attributes, you can wiggle. So, keep that in mind and play, play around with the wiggler a little bit and learn how to use it. So, I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you next time.